How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. So today I'm going to show you what a loop is. I'm going to show you an example of uh, how to create a loop. Um, we're going to look into the difference between a do loop, a do while loop, a do until loop, a pre-test, and a post-test. So let's take a look at the program that I created. I'm going to click start. Let's open up a program here. So this little program is going to be able to display the number of years it takes to re uh, required for a company's projected sales amount to reach $150,000 using a 3% growth rate. In other words, I'm going to type in an amount here, obviously lower than $150,000, and once I click calculate projected sales, it will the program will tell me how many years it will take to reach 150,000 um, and I'm going to be using 3% as the growth rate. So just uh, as a example purposes I'm going to type in 92,000 I'm going to click calculate projected sales and projected sales 17 years from now 152,062 so it'll take 70, 17 years to reach this amount. I'm using a 3% growth rate. So I'm creating a loop. I'm using a loop to create this program. So let's take a look at the code. So as you can see, I have several variables here. I have my double growth rate, which is 3% my double sales which is the amount that the user types in double increase and int years let's take a look at you this piece of code you know what this is already we're converting a string data to numeric data this is what the, the user is going to type in I'm saving it to the variable double sales now let's get into the meat of the program which is the loop which is this area so at first I'm using what's called a do while loop and uh, this is a, uh, this is an example of a pre test meaning I'm testing the loop I'm testing the condition first so the so if it doesn't meet the condition it's gonna the the loop will stop it won't even it won't even uh, loop once it won't even do the instructions not even one time so the instructions are right here this is the condition right here so do while double sales is less than 150,000 once it reaches 150,000 it's gonna stop so here uh, are the instructions what's going on is remember I like to always look at the instructions on the right hand side of the equal sign first so what happens first is if it does meet the condition is double sales will be multiplied by double growth rate which is 3% it'll be saved into a variable called double increase then the next line double e we uh, add double increase and double sales back to double sales and very important we need to have uh, also our um, int years which will be adding every time the loop occurs so we're adding the the um, the years to that to that amount to the int years variable okay now very important to understand this is that this uh, loop will not be an infinite loop because double sales keeps increasing okay and it increases at a three percent rate every time it does a loop so it's adding and adding so sooner or later it's gonna be it's gonna reach this 150,000 mark and when it does and that's when it's gonna stop okay so this is an example of a do while loop pretest now let's take a look at a do until loop also pretest I'm just going to type in instead of while I'm going to type in until 
And here, the only thing I'm going to change is greater than or equal to. Okay. And it's basi it'll basically do the same thing. All right, if I run it, I'm going to type in the same amount, 92,000. Calculate projected sales, 17 years from now, 152,062. Same thing. Okay, now let me show you the do while post test. So the con the difference between a pretest and the post test is that the post te the pretest has the condition in the beginning, the post test has the condition at the end. So all we're going to be doing is cutting this, pasting it down here, and our program should work. So same thing, 92,000, 1, 2, 3, projected sales 17 years from now, 152,062, same thing. The difference though here is that no matter what, it's going to uh, do these instructions at least one time. Okay, so remember that. Um, in a post test, the instructions will be well the the code this code here will run at least one time cuz then the condition is at the end all right and i could do the same thing with a do loop while double sales and then we just change the operator run it 92, 1, 2, 3, 92,000. Okay, and we get the same result. Now, uh, you know the output already. This is the code for the output. I'm sure you figured that one out. So, um, now you know the difference between a do while and a, a do while loop, a do until loop and also the difference between a pretest and a post test.